Yeah, I was, I was born in Port Lincoln. Um, my dad's from Port Lincoln, he's an Unger. My mum's from Western Australia, Kalgoorlie. She's a Gubbrin, and um, <clears throat> they split up when they were two. So I grew up basically more so with my mother um, and her family over in WA, which is the Gubbrin tribe, and shifted back and forth to see my dad uh, in Port Lincoln, which is the Nungas, and I guess uh, that's two sides of my family. Well, that um, both Aboriginal and Torres Strait, um, bloodlines and um, so my Aboriginal side we're the Watermen, um, so Waterman mob from up at the west of Catherine is um, where, where they come from. From the Torres Strait my family are the, uh, the Wagadagam people so so up in the from uh, Mobiorg and Badu Island. Yeah well my <laughs> role model is this guy sitting right here I grew up I was because I was born in Port Lincoln I grew up back and forth uh, Adelaide Crows and number 23 was my favourite number. I still had a little article at home where I was 15 or 13 I think it was and they said uh, who's your favourite player and who's your favourite player and it says uh, Adelaide Crows, Andrew McLeod. Pretty lucky I guess too is that had like um, from back home in, in Darwin growing up they had Michael McLean who was one of my um, role models that, uh, and a great leader uh, that I looked up to um, and I was very lucky because he, he was married to my cousin. Um, he was a bit older, but I just used to be able to pick his brain as a kid. You sort of understand what great role models are about. It's nice that you know someone like Eddie can say that about um, myself. I guess that you know you, you are seen to be a role model. I'm sure there's some younger blokes, and you have to look as far as probably Cam and Charlie, and you know, they'd be saying the same thing about Eddie now. Uh, sport for me was basically everything, really. I I didn't really have an education. I I didn't go to school. I couldn't read, I couldn't write, and then I was lucky enough to get drafted up for Carlton in the pre-season draft. Um, and, uh, you know, the first three years of, of my AFL career, I did literature and numeracy classes because I couldn't read, I couldn't write, I didn't know what I was signing. Um, and in saying that, if I had my time again, and that's what I tell young kids when I go out to our communities and, and do the role model course, um, the mentoring course, sorry. Uh, telling my story and saying, listen, education is more important than, than sport at this time. And I guess saying that, I think sport really saved my life. It is a special moment. And I mean, guess like for me growing up, watching Andrew McLeod play, uh, I wanted to be Andrew McLeod. I wanted to do everything Andrew McLeod did. And I wanted to play footy. And, um, you know, it's, it's an important round, not just for, I think, Indigenous kids, but just non-Indigenous kids too, to learn about our culture as well, which is fantastic. Such a special occasion, I guess, for us to, to be able to celebrate. We're the um, oldest living surviving culture in the world, and to be able to recognise and, and celebrate what is truly, a, you know, um, um, something really special about Australia. Is